Hey everyone, avoid the void here, as you can tell from that sign back there, and also by the presence of Pluto and Goofy behind me, I am at Walt Disney World still. Today, as that sign was indicating, I am at Hollywood Studios. This is day four of our Walt Disney World trip. And the video, this vlog today, is gonna be one of those avoid the boy Disney history lessons I was talking about. And since I'm here at Hollywood Studios, what better to talk about than this? Mickey's Sorcerer Hat, or the Sorcerer's Hat, depending on who you talk to. So, here at Hollywood Studios, and this park was opened in 1989. And this hat here, this hat behind me, has become synonymous with this park. It's pretty much in all the marketing, and promotional and brochure materials for this park but the hat actually wasn't here until 2001 so from 1989 to 2001 there actually was no hat there and yet it is now pretty much the icon of this park now um, it was placed here the reason it wasn't or the reason it was placed here in 2001 it was part of the uh, the celebration, the uh, 100 Years of Magic celebration in 2001, meant to celebrate Walt Disney's 100th birthday. It was placed here in 2001 to celebrate that, and underneath it, at the time, there was little informational kiosks and uh, things like that, informational kiosks and terminals, things like that, just giving you some history and information about Walt Disney and Walt Disney World. Now, a lot of that content has now been moved to One Man's Dream back there, which is basically a Walt Disney Museum here at Hollywood Studios. And now what's underneath it is kind of just another souvenir shop. They got lots of pins, t-shirts, hats, Mickey ears, things of that nature. Now, a lot of old school Disney fans really do not like this hat. And the reason why that is, is because you would come here to Hollywood Studios pre-hat. So pre-2001, you would come in the main entrance, which is right down there, right by that crossroads there. You would walk, you would walk down Hollywood Boulevard, and you would see nothing but the Chinese theater, which is behind the hat. And I can show that to you really quick. So when you would come in the main entrance, you'd be walking down, Hollywood Boulevard there, which is the main drag back there. And you would see the Chinese Theater. And it really felt, really felt like you were in Hollywood. Because you'd see nothing but Hollywood Boulevard. Vine is there, Hollywood and Vine. And off to the right is Sunset Boulevard. And of course, looking right down Hollywood Boulevard. As soon as you come in the main entrance, you would get a grand view of this, the Chinese theater. And like I said, it really felt like you were in Hollywood. Now the reason a lot of those old school Disney fans do not care for this hat is because this, the Chinese theater, was originally intended to be the trademark main icon and landmark of this park. And this hat here was always meant to be a temporary display as part of that 100 years of magic celebration that I was telling you about. Well, I guess Disney has decided that 14 years is temporary enough and early next year in 2015, this hat, this hat is being removed. So I know a lot of those old school fans are happy. Now I know a lot of changes are coming to Hollywood Studios, so assuming that that theater which is the housing for the great movie ride, assuming that all stays intact, you're gonna get pretty much the original, the original vision of this park will be restored. You will come in down there, walking in between all those palm trees, straight up to the Chinese theater. You'll get a classic Hollywood, Hollywood feel, and it's gonna feel just like it was always intended to again. It's early next year, 2015. The hat is going bye-bye. I personally don't have any problem with the hat. Um, 
in a vacuum. I don't necessarily care for it here because like those old school fans, I would kind of like to come here and see what that looks like to come in here and really look like you're in Hollywood. Kind of lost my train of thought for a second. So like I said, there's the hat. It's blocking the Chinese theater. I don't have a problem with it necessarily, like I said, in a vacuum. Here, I kind of don't care for it because uh, basically the way I would put it, a lot of old school Disney fans, those old school fans I was talking about, they kind of feel like that's basically the same as putting some sort of monstrous structure in front of Cinderella's Castle at Magic Kingdom or Spaceship Earth or the big golf ball at Epcot. It's basically, to them, it's basically the same thing as blocking one of those structures. But anyway, like I said, the hat's being removed early next year. So consider this, avoid the Boyd's official heartfelt goodbye to Mickey's sorcerer hat. See ya hat. Thanks for the memories. By the way, um, while you're here, first of all, thanks for watching. While you're here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. You can also get a hold of me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I've actually been posting a ton, a ton of pictures on my Instagram. And now I'm on Vine. I'm going to try to do a Vine every single day. Not just here, but forever. I'm going to try to do a Vine. If you already follow me on Twitter, you should see those automatically. But if not, you can go ahead and go to Twitter and follow me, at Avoid the Boyd, or go find me on Vine. Just search for Avoid the Boyd. Also, Twitter, I mean, Instagram and Facebook. Search for Avoid the Boyd on those things. Should be pretty easy to find me. Anyway, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe. Especially if you want to see what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do a really cool... If you like this little chunk of Disney history, you will really like what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to do something really interesting relating to Disney history from Epcot. Just to give you a little hint of what's going on tomorrow. But if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.